Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. Today in Big Cat News Around the World, there have been a plethora of stories talking about how Tiger King fabricated the feud between Joe Exotic and I. And I don't want people to take that out of context because the media takes everything out of context. And even though I did go after Joe, I was going after all of the bad guys who exploit animals and abuse animals. And so the, the whole idea of this being painted as some kind of a personal feud is what I was saying was fabricated. For a feud, you have to have two parties who are fighting and who have this very personal vendetta against each other. And for Joe, that was what that was. But for me, he was just another one of them. You know, he wasn't anybody that I thought was... Um, they're just, they're just, he was no better or worse than Antle or Tabro or Tim Stark or any of those people in my mind. And so I would like to see all of them stop exploiting big cats. And I think that will actually happen. But that's, that wasn't a feud. And unfortunately, that's what the producers of Tiger King thought would sell. So the point I was trying to make is that it was not some kind of a personal thing. I never said anything nasty about him as a person. You never saw me making any kinds of um, wild accusations about his personal life. All I did was talk about the issues. And so from that, now people are saying that there never was anything at all between Joe and I because it was all fabricated. And that's their new word to be glomming onto. And there was a huge issue between us. And it's the same issue that exists between me and everybody who is out there speed breeding cats, ripping their cubs away and using them as pay to play props. But that's not a feud. That is the battle to save big cats and should be appropriately dealt with. But leave that for another day. So here's the news. Um, WFLA talked about me speaking out about that. And Hiker King star Carol Baskin claims Joe Exotic Rivalry was fabricated in the Netflix show that was on Fox Business. Um, <laughs> Same thing in The Guardian. Tiger King was pitched as a feud between two crazy people. Save Vanishing Species. Semi-postal. Semi-postal? I don't know what that is. I think they mean this postage stamp is to go on sale December the 31st. So that's good if the money actually goes to saving tigers. This um, NZ Entertainment News talks about how people were screaming obscenities at me for three months after Tiger King because they believed that horrible portrayal that could not have been more wrong. And then there's a story about, and on each of these, you can just click on the title and it'll take you to the full story. Vaccinations may be vital for saving Amur tigers from virus outbreaks. You know, that's a really real thing is big cats can catch this COVID-19. And so what happens if you get that in a population in the wild? It could completely wipe out a wild population. So we have to be thinking about ways that we can curb that before, before that becomes a problem. I also have a couple of coordinator reports because I missed a day or two. This first one is from Stephanie Chaser who says, we had a great crew today. Marie Schubert came in to do meds. Feeding and cleaning was done by Marie, Gina Schottmeyer, Mark Mira, Mary Lou Geis, Nikki Weinkoff, Kristen Dolly, Stephanie Krauss, Lisa Spencer Novak, Bonnie Farrago, and Fred Pagan. During cleaning, Taylor Fiden, Fred Pagan, and Joyce Fitch and Nikki all cleaned Beecher, the Savannah Cats enclosure. They also raked the ground Flint and Nabisco the Bobcats. Marie, Fred, and Taylor took care of the Bloodsickle Cats. Gina got her final enrichment sign off. After lunch, Joyce Fitch and Taylor took care of food prep. Fred did supplements and she took care of PM meds. And that's all from me. Thanks for all you do. And that was from Stephanie Chaser. And then I also had one from Lauren Grant who said, Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. We had a great crew to help today. Marie Schubert took care of AM meds and supplements. Maureen, Marie, MJ, Gina, Lacey, Barbara, Jane, and Lisa took care of feeding. Susan joined for cleaning. Taylor, Stephanie, and Joyce got food prep knocked out during cleaning. After cleaning, Marie, Gina, and Taylor took Stephanie to hand out blood sickles to the sickle cats. Everyone was able to have some cat time, hand out enrichment, and do operant conditioning. Erin and I managed to get all of the cats with open air sections closed into their roof sections for the storm rolling through the night before leaving. And two quick reminders. Workplace has not been giving any notifications to many of us, so fix that Facebook. 
<laughs> so please make sure you are getting on and checking in groups to make sure you are getting all of the updates. And please make sure the radio you use is getting put back in the charger properly before you leave. We have had a lot of tasks dying early in the day. I think she means we've had a lot of radios dying early in the day because they were not charged properly. And ask your coordinator if you need help putting it on the charger properly. Thanks again to everyone for all your hard work. And that's it for today. It's Christmas here at Big Cat Rescue, and just like every single day of the year, the cats have been fed and cleaned and enriched and taken care of, and we will be seeing you guys tomorrow. You can see us on all of the social channels. We just posted a very fun uh, video of the cats having fun with their Christmas trees and their Christmas presents. You can find us on youtube.com slash bigcatrescue, and we are Big Cat Rescue everywhere you are. Stay cool, cats.